Hey guys, it's Rhea here at allofourhomes.com and today we're going to share with you how to make Swedish chocolate ball cookies. It's been sort of a warm winter here and we've only had one day with the dusting of snow. We usually do a lot of baking around our house using the Swedish Kitchen cookbook. But this recipe doesn't even require turning on the oven. It takes an hour to make these cookies, but really only 10 minutes to prepare them and then they have to sit in the fridge for about 45 minutes. These are so easy to make, a kid can do them, and often kids start with this as their first cookie that they make at home. And they're a perfect last minute gift. What you'll need if you're trying to make them vegan is Earth Balance, which is the butter that we use at our home. You'll need sugar, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, and then oats, rolled oats. You'll also want some shredded coconut to roll the balls in, but you could also use sprinkles. I definitely prefer the coconut. And you'll need two tablespoons of coffee. If you have decaf, that's great. If not, you could just use your leftover coffee from the morning. The first thing that you'll want to do is to melt the butter. And the amount you want from the translation from the Swedish cookbook is about a half cup. And I would say just shy of a half a cup because it says 100 grams, which I think is around seven tablespoons. But who wants to measure seven tablespoons of butter? And since we don't have sticks of butter, it's hard for us to count that out. But if you do have a stick of butter, seven tablespoons. And then you'll melt it over low heat over the stove. You'll want to make sure that it's fully melted. And then a good tip for this is just to measure it again. So I usually pour it back just to make sure that I'm getting just under that half a cup. Here I could probably add just a little bit more, that would be fine, but it's a very flexible recipe. So you pour the melted butter into a bowl, and then you'll want to add two tablespoons of coffee. Now we are very lucky to have great neighbors. Thank you, Elder Bear Farm. We actually picked up some decaf coffee to make sure that these sweet treats were decaffeinated for kids to be able to munch on in the evenings. So we picked up this decaf coffee and then measured two tablespoons of that. Next, you'll add in all of the dry ingredients, which include three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, and then a half cup of rolled oats. You'll want to see the texture of your mixture and make sure it's thick enough, so you might have to add a little bit more of the rolled oats in the end. And then next, you'll add three-eighths of a cup of white sugar. I just used a quarter measuring cup here and then filled it full once and then half again. And then one teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I just added a few more oats to this mixture because it was a little bit too runny so yeah just play around and see what becomes like the right texture you want it to be just a little bit clumpy but of course it hardens in the fridge so if you don't have the right texture just add a few more rolled oats and leave it in the fridge a bit longer it's very forgiving
want to put this mixture into the fridge for 45 minutes. And then if you are giving this as a gift, you can use this Pyrex Tupperware. This is like a three cup storage Tupperware that we have. Um, but you can also put these in a box or get creative. And then what I like to use are mini muffin cups so that these look a little bit fancier if you are giving them as a gift. It's almost like receiving a box of chocolates. So 45 minutes later, you take your batter mixture out of the refrigerator and then you'll want to test it to see if it's ready. And now it should be kind of hard to scoop up with the spoon. You want to make sure that it's going to stick well enough and be able to be rolled into balls and then that way you can roll it into the coconut flakes. This was really hard to do while holding a camera, so I just rolled up some of these so that I could show you um, just the process quickly. But I would recommend rolling up a bunch of them first and then rolling them into the coconut because your hands do get kind of chocolatey and messy with this. With little kids, this might be a lot of fun for them, but keep in mind it will get them a little bit messy. And then you can transfer them into these mini muffin cup holders, which just make it look a little bit fancier if you're giving these as a gift. Of course, you can roll them in other things besides coconut. That's been by far our favorite, but I've seen sprinkles or sugar. so delicious and they are great for a fika so you can add this to some other cookies or the Swedish apple cake which I will link to that recipe for you all in the description box below and I will also add the information for this recipe in the description box below with all of the measurements so that you can easily make this at home. These are so quick I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We post videos on Tuesdays. Thanks for stopping by our home.